Hi, this is James Flan. It's James Wine Guy here to celebrate this wine with you today. This is called Robaliño Arbariño, and it's a 2010 vintage. Now, I like this because in the um, it says the dominant denomination of origin, and this is in Galician, and it says denominación de origen. So in Spanish, it would be denominación de origen. So it's very cool to see this in Galician. Uh, you often see it on the back panel. You'll see both. Um, Spanish and Galician. So here's the back panel and then you see the certification. This is a wine from Rias Baixus. Now for me, this is a wonderful wine to enjoy with food, to enjoy with shellfish, comfort food. For me, it's just one of these that I'm going to enjoy both ways because I really enjoy this by itself. It's a fantastically beautiful lyrical wine. And generally what you get from this wine are just notes that are very similar to what I would say is Sauvignon Blanc. So if you like Sauvignon Blanc, you will love the Albariño. And I think very few people, more people are trying Albariño, but very few people have, um, they could say in the same uh, sentence that they've had a Sauvignon Blanc and a uh, Albariño. I think that, that that's becoming closer. Those gaps are being narrowed, but I think it's, um, and I definitely don't like to always say compare this wine. If you like this type of wine, you'll like this wine. But in this instance, I think it is quite fitting. Now for me, this wine is really evocative. I mean, 12.5% alcohol content. So you, when you're going to be being enjoying this with food, you're not going to enjoy it too much or maybe have too much before you start enjoying your food. I think it's one of those nice ways to begin a wine and to just really pair that so, you know, what I like to say lyrically well with what you're going to enjoy. So I'll take a little taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. Well, it bubbles up to the top for me are some really beautiful flavor characteristics. What I like about this wine, I'm getting notes of kumquat, exotic lime, um, white peach, white nectarine, um, a, a juiciness that comes from um, the pitted fruits. It's absolutely beautiful. Some white pepper, a little anise, and a little dash of cardamom on the finish. It's a beautiful wine. It gives a 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jameswineguide.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, and Google+. Salud!